Biology. It's it's biology, Connor. Yeah, uh, you're happy with that, are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty much. Yeah, it's up to you, but uh, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay, lad. Cheers. Okay. My you instinct, need some medicine, didn't you? My instinct was wrong, wasn't it? Well, if well, he's right. Well, he's done it. Um, he's, he's sounded pretty certain there. So do you want to play? Yeah, I'll play A, Biology. Final answer. Final answer. How would you feel if you just lost £7,000? Not, well, such is life. You haven't, you've just won £16,000. <laughs> the right answer, good man, Paddy. <laughs> you had me worried there. <laughs> it's kind of what I do every week, it's my job. <laughs> First the medicine, then the sweet. You've got the sweet, you've got 16 grand. Now, this is serious now because you have no lifelines. You are one away from £32,000. Now, that would be guaranteed. That would be the minimum you would take back to Northern Ireland. But, you give me a wrong answer, you do not have to play this one, Connor. You give me a wrong answer, you drop 15 of the 16 grand you got. You may like it. Question number 10 is worth £32,000. You are six away from £1 million. Here it comes. In 1541, Hernando de Soto led the first group of Europeans to see which river? Ganges, Niger, Mississippi, Amazon. It's worth 32 grand. My instinct is to go. My instinct is to say Amazon. Why? Um, because uh, it sounds. Hernando de Soto sounds like a, a Portuguese name, or and Portuguese um, colonized Brazil. It's a big risk, very big risk. It's worth 32 grand. It's, it's tempting to have a hunt at it. You've got 16,000, it's worth 32. Well, Chris, you know, I said before we started that um, 16,000 and up would be a great, you know, great sum to win. And um, it, it would be wrong of me to risk it, I think, you know, just on a, on a, a guess, really, I guess. So I think I'm going to stop and take the money. 1541, Hernando de Soto led the first group of Europeans to see which river? Ganges, Niger, Mississippi, Amazon. It's your call. I'm, I'm, I'm torn. Hernando de Soto just seems to me like a Portuguese name. And in the 16th century, um, that was when most of the sort of uh, sort of colonisation of the Americas took place. Started to take place. But you might have been lost. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> to your call. You've got sixteen thousand pounds. You can walk away. That's the amount of money you wanted. You can play for thirty-two, but if you're wrong, you lose fifteen thousand. Yeah, final answer. Final answer. Yep. Final answer. 
OK, give him a big hand. Connor Simington goes away. <laughs> With £16,000, which is the amount of money he came for, but I bet you're sure, really, it's Amazon, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, if, if, if there wasn't such a risk riding on it, I would have said Amazon, but... You see, and if you'd just been that little bit braver and you get in that chair once in your life, you'd been that little bit braver and you said to me the words, Amazon. You'd have just lost 15 grand because the right answer's Mississippi. <laughs> Give him a big hand. <laughs> 60,000 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Right, now we've got ten brand-new, squeaky clean and frighteningly competitive contenders all hoping to be the next to step into our arena of dreams. But which of them will be next to have a crack at the million? Let's meet them. They are... <laughs> Chris Curtis from Oxfordshire. <laughs> Kim Shaw from Surrey. <laughs> Phil Acklam from East Yorkshire. <laughs> Dave Clinton from Lancashire. <laughs> Phil Ashman from the West Midlands. My Paws from Essex. <laughs> and Grace from West Yorkshire. <laughs> Stephen Gamble from North Lanarkshire. <laughs> Chris Morgan from Coventry. <laughs> Paul Tapson from Surrey. <sighs> what a lineup. Right, first is finger first to battle it out now for the right to step up and face our ever quizzical computer. We have one question. It will have four answers, but will only have one correct order. So which? of our top ten can arrive at that correct order in the shortest possible time. We're about to find out. Uh, no distractions, please, from the audience at this point. They need to concentrate. Right, guys, all ten of you, good luck. Here comes your first question tonight. Starting with the earliest, put these literary works in the order they are set historically. Gold with the win, 1984, the Iliad Great Gatsby. of lack of confidence on all their faces, actually. <laughs> let's see. Let's see the right answer, and then we'll find out who got it right. Uh, fairly obviously, farthest back in time by a long way, the Iliad from ancient Greece. Gone with the wind, then, from the US Civil War. Uh, Great Gatsby from the 1920s. And 1984, surprise, surprise, from 1984. So that's the right order. Now, out of ten, these got it right. I suspect it wasn't that many. Who was fastest? Uh, Chris Curtis in 3.39 <laughs> seconds. Christopher. <laughs> What is it about, Thank you. Oh, do you want to pay for a million pounds? Oh, I'd love to. Oh, well, I'd like you things, otherwise not much of a programme, frankly. With me now is Chris Curtis, a police officer from Bicester in Oxfordshire. Chris loves his work and has been in the force for 23 years. Once Chris was called out to search for a missing girl, who thankfully he quickly found safe and well, the girl's older sister took a bit of a shine to the smartly uniformed hero of the hour and has now been married to Chris for 18 years. Oh. I knew you'd all do that. <laughs> She's called Sue. And they have a seven-year-old daughter called Jennifer. Uh, but up in the audience tonight is um, Chris's good friend Mike. Daughter Jennifer is obsessed with all things Disney and says it would make all her dreams come true if Daddy wins enough to take her to Disneyland. But for some reason, it must be the one in Paris, which is a lot cheaper. Uh, Chris <laughs> says he'd be happy if he wins enough to get his ailing car through the MOT test. <laughs> Fifteen questions, three brand new lifelines, one million pounds is the usual formula. Lots of luck, Chris, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Question number one, 100 pounds, here it comes. Which of these is a figure in human form often displayed in shop windows? Plot, dummy, blockhead, chump. That's a dummy. It's a dummy, it's the right answer, you've got 100 pounds. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, let's try and race you up to at least the minimum of 1,000. Question number two is for 200 quid. What is the name for the poles attached to the feet allowing the wearer to walk above the ground? Gilts. Kilts. Stilts. Wilts. That's stilts. That's the right answer. You've got 200 pounds. <laughs> Nice and easy so far, and remember there are no trick questions on Millionaire. If it seems very easy, that's probably because it's the right answer. Question number three is for 300 quid. What accompanies the word tucker in a phrase which refers to one's best clothes? Best potty, best rattle, best bib, best nappy. Best bib and tucker. Bib and tucker is the right answer, 300 pounds. <laughs> Question number four is for 500 quid. You're two away from a guaranteed thousand. Here it comes. Which of these is a type of tree? Helicopter, glider, plane, jet. Uh, I think that's plane. Final answer? That's right, I've got £500. <laughs> all right, Chris, last point at which you could go home with nothing at all. I'm sure you won't. You have all three lifelines. Be positive. This will win you £1,000 at least. Question number five. Here it comes. In which of these countries are you most likely to see hot springs known as geysers? India, Israel, Iceland, Italy. That'd be Iceland. Iceland is full of hot geezers. You have £1,000. <laughs> ah, that's better. Feel good? A lot better. Because <laughs> you would have had so much stick from the station, wouldn't oh, you? You, you would not believe it. I would it. believe it, actually. <laughs> Right, question number six. Let's try and get you on up a bit. Question number six is for £2,000. You still have three lifelines untouched. Which piece of music would be played first if a British driver won a Formula One race? Rule Britannia. Old Lang Syne. God Save the Queen. Jerusalem. Which piece of music would be played first if a British driver won a Formula One race? Rule Britannia. Old Lang Syne. God Save the Queen or Jerusalem? God save the Queen. Not Jerusalem. Final answer? Yeah, they, they play the national anthem of the driver and the instructor, I think. So, God save the Queen. Final answer? Final answer. I can tell you that the right answer is C, God save the Queen. <laughs> Chris here now goes up to £2,000. Chris, or of course, as I should call you, Sarge. Because <laughs> you're Sarge, aren't you? I am. I'm a custody sergeant. What does that mean? Um, when somebody gets arrested and they get brought to the police station, I have to make sure that they've been lawfully detained. I have to look after them and ensure their welfare whilst they're at the police station. I love this. Look after them and ensure their <laughs> welfare. Yes. <laughs> they get cups of Your nip, you're coming down the cells with me, my son. <laughs> Cups of tea, blankets. Cups of tea, yeah. blankets, donuts. <laughs> and I also have to look at the evidence to make sure uh, how we dispose of them, whether we refer them to the Crown Prosecution Service. dispose service. of them? Well, <laughs> what decision is made when their, their period of detention is finished, whether they get charged, whether they get released on bail. So that's my decision as well. And you enjoy it? I enjoy it very much, Can yeah. you enjoy it? Because, I mean, yeah. without being funny, I think over 20-odd years, being a policeman has become a great deal tougher than it used to be in all sorts of ways. It, in so many ways. Yeah. In the attitude of society, yeah, yeah. in the amount of new legislation that's been passed that we have to keep up to date with, in computerisation, in more red tape, more bits of paper. Lots of paperwork, which oh, is incredible lot of amounts. About. Incredible amounts. I bet, well, I know we talked about this before, but I bet the lads, I bet they gave you a. Do they, do they all know you're, you're coming on? A few of them do. I think the, the best one was um, May the Force Be With You. <laughs> <laughs> but it has been. So It has been so far. You have £2,000, which is good. OK, let's have a look. 